scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Torchwood. Yes, I know you're all just a little bit sick of me banging on and on about how absolutely brilliant, well, Big Finish have been of late, and you know what? That's fine, because sadly, you're in for more of the same. I have adored Big Finish's output of late, and you know what? You might be just a little bit sick of me saying that. Every so often you'll tune in and you'll try and listen and go, oh, you might not like this one. And you know what? The output's been spectacularly high. And one of the highest outputs, well, the Torchwood. I've adored them. Now, everyone who's ever listened to me knows that I loved Torchwood Series 2 because it was just getting better. Disliked Series 3 and absolutely hated Series 4 on the TV. But you'll also know how much I absolutely adore it on audio. Torchwood on audio just works so well. The effects are better for a start, the budget's better, and audio gets to do characterization so much better. It gets to get let you inside the heads of the people on, well, before you. And that's what Torchwood needs. That's what Torchwood always needed, which was character exploration. You know all this. It's fine. Now, the one bit of Torchwood that has always been ignored is the pre, well, Battle of Canary Wharf. We've had one true audio set in this point. Yes, we've had the Victorian era, but I'm not counting that. I'm saying modern age Torchwood. We've had one bout of Yvonne on a night out. And it was spectacularly good. You'll always get a good performance out of the Torchwood actors. They were hired with talent and style in mind, but... That's not important. What is important is that we've got a whole section of Torchwood history that's been largely ignored and unmined. Oh, that's what Big Finish like. That's what they like stepping into, and that's what they like giving us. Now, Torchwood 1, that would be Torchwood of Canary Wharf, run by Yvonne, and has Yanto in it. Yes, if we're all those Yanto fans out there, we've got a lovely piece of yanto in in this storyline. You know what? It's not just Torchwood. It's Torchwood meets The Office with better gags. Because let's face it, to a lot of people, working in Torchwood 1 is just another office gig. It's just another lot of admin. Yes, people die left, right and centre in a smaller Torchwood organisation, but in the big central head office, there's just a lot of filing. There's a lot of R&D, that kind of thing that goes on. And that's what we've got here. We've got a spectacular version of Torchwood. A proper, functioning office system. And for anyone who's ever worked in an office and yearned for a bit of sci-fi fun going on there, this is the audio for you. It's only three discs. That's three stories. So don't be going around expecting a quartet of fun. Because three discs is more than enough to fulfil this arc. Now, I, for one, do not want to give out any spoilers. So all of the synopsis I'll be doing will be straight from the website. Stuff you can already experience. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a superb box set, well worthy of the name Big Finish and well worthy of the Diamond logo, if such a thing could be applied to a spin-off series. You've got Torchwood 1 being the office, being the British Empire's last best hope, but also being, well, desk-bound. It's not countermeasures by any stretch of the imagination, and it's also not unit. Yes, there are flashes of the sexual tensions that you see in the Cardiff-based version of Torture, but not the same sort of thing. They're a lot more mundane. The mundane aspects of Alien Invasion are on display here, and they're still hilarious. Office life, away days, team training are all covered here. It's a simply inspired choice, but what makes it is Yvonne. I want to work for Yvonne Hartman. It's plain and simple that good. 
I, like everyone else, would be completely loyal to this woman. Her characterization is captured so impeccably as to make you just want to apply for the job. Yes, you might get retconned left, right and centre, and yes, you may not get hired because of your family. But you know what? It's all going to be all right in the long run. Here's the synopsis. London, 2005. Yvonne Hartman is the undisputed head of Torchwood One, above the government, beyond the police, next door to the garage. No, no. She has excellent people skills, enjoys regular tea with the Queen, and effortlessly defends the British Empire from alien threats. Yvonne Hartman is excellent at her job and inspires devotion in everyone who works with her until one day she makes a terrible mistake. We all make mistakes, but only at Torchwood can a single mistake plunge your world into interstellar war. Yvonne Hartman is facing the fight for her life, one she's going to win. Now, yes, we know that Yanto survives, yes, we know that Yvonne survives, but all bets are off for everyone else. There are characters here who you almost expect to reappear and reoccur in later on Audio Torchwood, and I'm not going to kick off about that, because they're all great. You've got Joseph Lister, Jenny T. Colgan and Matt Fitton all giving great bits of writing. But as I've said, this is a story that you don't really want to read the synopsises for, because they might give something away. I could enthuse for hours, and probably have, But instead of all that, I'll play you the trailer. Because Torchwood won. Well, I'd like more of it, please. If only that were possible. Hmm. So until next time, when I'll probably be talking about Doctor Who or at least one of its spin-offs, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. You two, you're the future of Torchwood. Torchwood won before the fall. They've been coming to us for years, but we've been kept in the dark. Rachel, you know what we do here, don't you? On the 31st of December, 1879, Queen Victoria issued a charter creating the Torchwood Institute. An organisation dedicated to defending Great Britain against alien invasion. Hold still! I've got my gun! Over a century later, Torchwood is based here, in Canary Wharf. Excellent work. My name is Rachel Allen, and I'm Torchwood. Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 